but it's still kind of rough. Hey, garlic. A lot of sales this game. We can find the Hungry Blade. A banana, I've got an extra garlic and a goobert. We're just way ahead. More food. We just chill here. Just try to Roll for epics with more gold next turn. This board's pretty strong. is nice.
barely maxed out Pan. Can't really play the broom with just the one banana. Lose to the Corrupted Crystal here. Our Pan's a lot better. Fatigue, did they deal? 21 versus 55. Did we finally get a health potion? I'm gonna be looking for godlies if we're doing unhealing. I don't usually. I do want to try Pandemonium at some point, but not sure this is a game for it. I don't know. Maybe we could have tried. We're like far enough from this. Yeah, usually not. I'm not a huge fan of Pandemonium on live. Sometimes it comes up as like a panic option when you're on one life or two lives and you just need something to improve your board and you've got a corrupted crystal. <laughs> yeah, probably a corrupted crystal before mana orb. I'll try it. Oh, that is annoying, though. I have to commit to a direction now. <laughs> right. I kind of wish you could defer this. Just like... Ugh. <sighs> Usually it's not a big deal, but in this spot, I don't have a direction yet. It's probably the most generically good one. At least it gives us 25% healing amp. Yeah, I don't think we're going Thorn Whip. Sail Goob. Exactly how impractical is this impractically large sword. Weapons steal 20% life. <laughs> Just worse than Pan, right? Uh... There's a Hungry Blade. Where's this gonna go? Do I need Double Goob? Let's sell the customer card. Thank you. 
Oh, the big sword needs, like, stamina. Yeah, and crit. Sale health pot. Okay, I'm down to try blood goo here. Which means I will want that. Yeah, like if you speed it up but don't have stamina generation, you just honk. uses all your stamina. Oh, these Reaper mirrors are such garbage. Second Hungry Blade instead of the Pam. It's a lot better for the Stam, and it gets me up to Blood Goobing faster. We also haven't lost a fight yet. That's pretty cool. Care about gems? Imagine we're losing to struggles here. want to combine these. I want to have the regen at the start. Hmm. I still want this garlic to be fast, too. Sword to touch coffin. Um, it would be fine. They're the best trigger. It's better than triggering with food, I guess. We could... Hmm. 
would this work? It would go... Do that. Probably better. Just play the goober. It just depends. Coffin is less of a big deal as the game goes on. Because you're ideally getting your damage from other places. And it does have the issue here of we have Hungry Blades in the Coffin instead of like our full food combo. But these are probably fast enough that it's worthwhile. Is it worth getting second goob between the blades? That's interesting. We slow down... Let's say sure. We only get the gloves one. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you could do this. Yeah, that's definitely worth doing. That's much better. Oh, well... Probably a little bit better. Wait, his comp is really bad, apparently. <laughs> Out of oh, we beat this earlier, and it looked a lot stronger than it was. It just like ends up not having enough mana with the way it's positioned. Also, no potions. Did you get thrown up at this point still? Um, you're probably supposed to. I don't know. Bloodthorn uses more stam, right? One point five instead of one. I don't know. I'd probably try not to. Just as an experiment. But it's probably correct. Buckler's okay. Nice. Comps, this is huge against. What else am I looking for? More healing herbs is big. Kills max damage. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. More goob. <laughs> There's a pineapple. That might be relevant. Some regrets. That's a really good shot. <laughs> Is everybody running fast weapon builds? I've been running into a lot more, just like fatigue reaper and unhealing. My first couple of games tonight I kept losing because I kept buying bucklers going into matchups where they didn't do anything. Hey, 
tapos Fatigue did do max damage. Felt 100 damage. Herb bag to the left. It is on Blade and Dagger. Lifter stars are weird. Do I want blood gloves or blood burt? I think just blood burt. Blood burt so much damage. <laughs> Mr. Struggles! this here. Set up. Was I? They're both in the bell, weren't they? The stam is big. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was just one goop trigger on the vanilla goob. It didn't seem that relevant. I wasn't going to refactor for it. I don't think that was the issue in either of the fights we lost. Could do that too. We do. Would be good here. Yeah, blood gloves would be fine. It'd be an extra six vamp. I don't know how much the speed matters. We're already running out of stam. Looks good enough to me. Slightly not good enough to me. Just 
fix that next turn. White goob. Supposed to take Mr. Struggle so for Lifter. We're just always going to fatigue. Which would be fine against other people that aren't buying Mr. Struggles. But so many matchups in this beta are Mr. Struggles. So what a way to fix the problem. What is this doing? You can speed up the corrupted crystal. <laughs> Gotta buy another corrupted crystal next turn. Okay, no struggles. Can we beat a Bloodthorn with two shields? Little worried about the stamina problem. Eh. Just like, don't beat anything good. Not great, but it is something. Whatever this was, we can beat Poison Ivy. Oh yeah, look at that Blood Goober damage. I guess one problem with this is I can't actually make the Blood Gloves. Go blood dagger. That gets me four vamp. <laughs> Thanks, I think. <laughs> well, we're up a corrupted crystal. Oh, 
the corrupted crystal difference. What a what a weird game this has been. Hey, no pointer. Thanks for the raid. Go, go, go! <laughs> Double flute's giving me nice sustain. Not enough to deal with Lamp Falcon Blade, but you know. Oh, we're also getting amethysted for our vamp, so we didn't have a board. Yeah, that'll that'll do it as well. We kept four vampirism through perfect amethyst falcon blade. That's that's a win. <laughs> 